Well, hello everyone. I'm John Victor Jacobson, and we're uh, in the Hazelwood Forest today, and uh, we have seen a piebald deer. I went to Google Earth to download these images, and a piebald animal is an animal, usually a mammal such as a white-tailed deer or a horse, that is has a spotted pattern of large white and black patches. Piebaldness occurs due to genetic variations not due to parasites or illness. Some specimens can also have physical deformities. It is what it is. So here are some pictures of some piebald deers that I downloaded from Google. I wanted to share this with you because we have one of these animals in the Hazelwood Forest. And it's a beautiful animal and it was photographed by a good friend of mine who wishes to rename nameless. And these are and these here are albinos, and that's an amazing picture of two of them together. I've never seen that before. Nor have I seen anything like this. These are piebald animals. They are genetic mutations, and the more we separate these animals from their natural habitat, the more mutations we will see in the environment. We have one animal in the Hazelwood Forest, and this animal needs to be protected. Uh, I don't know what else I can say about that, but hey, check Maybe this out. Let you go. Leave you alone there. Your mommy will come back. Well, I'm John Victor Jacobson, and I commune with wild animals every day. And I photograph them in the Hazelwood Forest of Clark Colonia and Rahway, New Jersey. And I'm doing everything I can to save the Clark Reservoir because I need your help, and we can't leave this to our children. And I was born a soldier. I know how to get things done, and I was very good at it from a young age. Uh, it's time to save the Clark Reservoir. It's time to do it now, because this is un-American. And uh, Clark, New Jersey is the new ground zero for change. What else can I say about that? So this is just a little over-exaggeration what needs to be done. It needs a serious system of aeration. I'll do whatever it takes to get the job done. And I'm already connected with the Union County Freeholders, and they're gonna look at my proposal on uh, December 5th. At least that's what I've been promised by my town councilman, uh, Brian Toll, right behind me there. So I've already won cases against the county to clear the vegetation from the concrete structures of this dam site, and we have our view back, and it's the best view in town. And I just found out from the state that I won my case against the township to clear the trees from this wastewater pipeline where all the poop goes through. And I'm gonna do whatever I can to keep this Clark Wildlife Preserve and Habitat alive that Mayor Robert S. Ellenport started back a long time ago. So I'm John Victor Jacobson, saving the Clark Reservoir, and I need your help. And you can't leave this for your children. Well, okay then, that there's the piebald deer in Clark, New Jersey. We've got one, do you have any? Check out my other videos. Hey, did you hear that I swims with the fishes? Yeah, baby. And do you know what the price of freedom is? I can show you what that's all about. Yeah, baby. And have you seen the winter geese at the Clark Reservoir? It's a pretty cool sight. And why should we save the Clark Reservoir? Well, because it's the right thing to do. And this here's the Jupiter Lighthouse. We did a drone flight there not too long ago. And we did some drone fishing in Jupiter, Florida also. And that was pretty darn amazing. Yeah. And these here are some manatees that we came across, a mother and a calf. And you gotta check out the Wooten's airboat tours in the Everglades. And also the smallest post office on earth. If you get down to the Everglades on Route 41, the Tamiami Trail, check it out. And here's the American Legion Post 328 and Clark, New Jersey. And Scout Troop 145 is selling trees and wreaths there. So don't forget to stop by and deck, get some nice decorations for your house. Yeah, baby. Hoo-wee. Pink.